because Chicago's Bear Stop is an awesome resource. There's a map feature, it's got a little bit of trivia, but I like it best because you guys can send us your suggestions. Stephanie sent us a picture of her food from Dove's Luncheonette. And to me, that was the epitome of comfort food. It's cold outside. I'm looking for some great comfort food, and I hear there are fans of our show on our app yes. that this is the place to come. This is the place to come. It's Mexican-influenced food, with a little bit of Southern inspiration in there. Right off the blue line, so you, even if it is negative 25, you can just jump right in here and get a quick bite here and drink, so. Please God, don't let it ever yeah. be negative 25. Thank God we got Tom Skilling and not Dennis yes, in not the me. studio. Thank you, Mother Nature, for a nice day. Why do you think it's Chicago's best comfort food? It's both things that people here in Chicago really gravitate to is diners and Mexican food, and they get a little bit of both here. Great soul music. I mean, it's a great package. What can we make while we're here today? Chicken fried chicken. <laughs> Chicken fried chicken. Yeah. Why do you need to emphasize that twice? Sounds better if you say it twice. Okay. Yeah. I tell people to come here for just the chicken fried chicken. Flaky crust with a nice juicy chicken. Smothered in peas and gravy. Oh my god, so good. This is just comfortable for us. I only usually use one glove. I'm gonna think about Eco Green. It's 2014, so. Well, it's 2015. Oh, it is. It's actually 2016 it when this says. It is, so there we go. It's all in the past. Work in place. the past, think about the future. Right, yeah. That bird is literally history. It is, it's an old bird. So that's why we brine it. This is salt, sugar, a little bit of citrus, rosemary, garlic. You can drink it if you want. I might grab a straw. Brine juice on the menu. <laughs> and then we just all let right. that brine for 45 minutes. Our little birdie takes a bath in some seasoned flour. Buttermilk, swim little birdie, and more flour. Then it gets a nice little steam bath in the fryer. We can't do chicken fried chicken without gravy. gravy. We can't. Okay. It's not, not possible. Right, any year, whatever year Never. It is. 2014. I'm the, never gonna let you live that that's down. That's all right. Nobody does ever, so it's all right. <laughs> so, chorizo verde. Chorizo verde? Yeah. Put equal parts butter okay. and flour. Add a little bit of whole milk to that. And it's got a little vegetables. Just a little vegetables. Yeah, I would, well, let's keep those vegetables down very to a minimum. minimum. Very minimal. Right? And then if you really want to take it over the top, you put a fried egg on it. One of us, we should have a fried egg on oh, top. Oh yeah, of course. Right? You got to. Mm -hmm. Let's make it run. Oh my God, okay. Just like mom used to make. No way. <laughs> so that chorizo gravy, that could be a meal in itself. Yeah, warms up your soul. And you get a little bit of your greens in there too. Why don't you mind your own plate? Because I'm kind of busy on this one. I am mildly in love with this dish. I really haven't had this in a while. It's really good. This is comforting. So is this. <laughs> I don't have on the outside and on the inside. <laughs>